In this video, we're going to have a look at setting up ARNR rainfall data. We're going to create some Australian rainfall to apply to our model. To do this, we right click on our model group, New Rainfall Event. I'm going to give it the name of ARNR 1%, 60 minute, and just Storm 1. So we're just going to run one pattern to start with. Click OK. Select the second um, option for Australian rainfall and we're going to go straight to the ARNR storm generator. I'm going to search for my working folder which is on my C drive and we shouldn't have any um, information in there yet. Click on new and go to the ARNR data and if you connect it to the internet you'll see the map um, pull up if not, you will not be able to download the information and you'll need to add from file. Um, if the links to the r, r Data Hub or the Bureau ever fail, you can add them from the file manually as well. I'm going to zoom into Brisbane, which is my current location, and click on the Brisbane Airport. Click on the download button. And this is now collecting the information from the ARNR Data Hub and the Bureau. And once that's complete, we should see the status downloaded. Click OK. And we'll now see the AEPs and the durations populated. We're going to uncheck the Select All. And just do the 1%, 1 hour, 2 hour and 3 hour. Because we're going to use the 2 and 3 hour later on. And then we can actually add in the ARFs and the pre-births. We can also apply a base multiplier to account for climate change. And we can view the summary report. So in the summary report, we should see the 30 storms with the pattern numbers, um, the IFDs, and the locations. If everything's OK, we can click OK. And then we can import that into our list. And you'll see here that they're all checked on at the moment. So I'm going to disable all and just select the first one. You'll also see that the information for the losses for rural have been populated. Um, so it's initial loss of 13 and a continual loss of 2.2. But that's just for information. It's not going to be used in the model unless we apply that somewhere else. Click OK. And that's our info done.